Today I'm going to be going over my personal Apple ecosystem. These are all the products that I use daily. Something that sold me on Apple early on was the fact that all my devices could work together seamlessly, accurately, and efficiently. Now don't get me wrong, the iPhone might not be the best phone, and maybe there's better wireless headphones out there, but altogether, I would venture to say, Apple has created the perfect system of products that work together simultaneously. Outside of a few products, which Apple just doesn't make like a TV, thermostat, or car, I have everything Apple. Everything. If you guys wanna watch a really good video on the Apple ecosystem, Marquez Brownlee did a really good video a couple years ago called The Apple Ecosystem Explain. So I highly recommend that if you're curious. Also guys, the winner for the HomePod mini contest was announced and I'll be sending that out to them. Congrats to the winner. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to make sure you are updated when I do my next contest. So here it is guys, my perfect Apple ecosystem. Starting out, I have the iPhone 13 Pro in graphite. Easily, this is the best phone I've ever had. Honestly, with features like ProMotion and the OLED display. Also in addition with that ProRes video capture and my camera able to take raw photography. It's been amazing. In case you're curious, I use the MagSafe leather case, which I just did a three month review on. I also complement the case with the MagSafe leather wallet with Find My. I'm one of those people that have always hated carrying a wallet in my back pocket. So this has been a game changer for me. I do use the MagSafe charging puck and on standby, if I ever need it, I have the MagSafe battery pack for on the go use. Included in this is also one of the best things Apple ever came out with, and that has to be the Apple card. For me personally, it has been the best credit card I've used, and I love how it integrates perfectly with the Apple wallet. Complementing my iPhone, I use the AirPods Pro for my everyday carry. The only place I don't have these is when I'm in the shower. Outside of the iPhone, this is my favorite device. And because I use Apple so much, I do have an Apple Music subscription. Speaking of the everyday carry, I do have the Apple Watch Series 6 as well. I had the Series 1 for five years and got this watch last year. There really wasn't a difference, so I kind of didn't need it. I have the 44 millimeter watch in space gray. I currently have a MacBook Pro and it came out in 2017. And to me, it's perfect. I love the flexibility of a laptop. It's been a great computer and I've had no issues with it. And to complement my MacBook, I do use the AirPods Max quite a bit. These headphones produce such a high quality of sound that really helped me with editing videos. And now I have this sweet stand to hold them up. So I have them in space gray. And honestly, if you can go grab a pair of these, I highly recommend them. They also work great with the Apple TV. Speaking of the Apple TVs, let's get to my entertainment setup. So in my living room, I have the Apple TV 4K. And in my guest bedroom, I have the Apple TV HD. We don't have a TV in our room and I really felt that I wanted my guests to have a nice experience if they ever stay the night or spend a couple days here. 
To complement the Apple TV 4K in my living room, I have the original HomePod in space gray. Seriously, this is one of the best devices and shout out to my sister who gave me this for my birthday a couple years ago. It's still holding up really well. And along with the Apple TV, the movie experiences that I've had are increased so much because of the HomePod. And to complement my guest bedroom, there's the HomePod mini that is connected to the TV as well. I also have two HomePod minis in my bedroom. They're just on both of my nightstand and my wife's. I can use Siri for alarms, ask the weather, and place reminders on my tasks, as well as add meetings to my calendar, just by asking Siri. Also, one of the cars we own has CarPlay, so that's been really nice, especially for when I'm going a new place. Some other miscellaneous items are iCloud, and I have the two terabyte option currently. Another would be something I'm trying to do more, and that's buying books on the Books app. Reading on the iPhone 13 Pro is magical. And so yeah, it could be that I no longer buy paper books, but we'll see. And also something I truly never buy is DVDs. My movie library is all from buying movies on iTunes. And I've been doing this for a while now and I'm glad I did it, especially with trying to not have a lot of clutter. I also have an AirTag for my everyday carry. I probably have more than I need, but to me, this is the perfect ecosystem for me. This took years to develop and I really love all the Apple products I have. I hope you enjoyed watching my perfect Apple ecosystem. Let me know in the comments what's your current ecosystem and what you plan to add to it in the future. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you and I will see you on the next video.